Yeah, my earliest memories is my dad worked as a coal train driver um, from me as a young boy. He was a hard worker, that's for sure. Um, but I think it, uh, his position uh, as a coal train driver really brought us security and stability, I think, as a family. That flexibility gave him all the opportunity to, to coach us and watch us during footy. Yeah, the first year that I was captain and we were in the high vis, I, th I think it would have brought him a lot of pride. Um, sitting in the grandstand, he would have got his high vis vest on himself. And to see the team run out in uh, head to toe in high vis and, and me captain in the team, I really thought it was, a, it was an opportunity to, to represent him and his career. I think it, um, it would have been a bit emotional. He couldn't ask for a better representation of a, a, a mining jersey than, than Kirk Gidley. Built on hard work, uh, resilience and you know, unwavering sort of dedication to what you need to do. Kurt is an absolute superstar on the field. He's played for his local club, he's played Origin, he's played International, he's been a member of the Superstars, he's played at the Super League. But what's most important about Kurt is the fact that he's born and bred. If I had half the career that Gid's had, I'd, I'd be a happy man. You know, he's accomplished some big things in the game and I think everyone had a lot to learn from him and uh, he sort of led the way there. The type of person he was, you know, as a player, his effort in terms of preparation and what he displayed on the field. He was constantly on the ball and moving and talking. I just think he's a perfect example of, of, of representing the colours. If I was going down a mine, I want to go with Kirk Gidley because um, he, he's just one of those guys that um, you know, worked hard at everything and he'd be a great work, mate. To start with, it was a challenge, you know, going from professional sport into a new career. I'm the business development manager of New South Wales at Protec Group, so I guess my role is to generate new business and also keep those relationships strong with our current clients and look for new opportunities. I guess what sport and professional rugby league gave me was, you know, a good attitude, good work ethic, and I guess a willing to learn. He's used to being held accountable and he brings that in, in, into our team, which is great. But it's also about quality as well, you know, that, the sporting background and, you know, if you haven't got a quality team, you don't perform. And he, he definitely wants to drive the quality of the people that we employ. I knew it was an opportunity to step outside of my comfort zone, really, but I knew it was a, it was a really good opportunity for career growth. I still continue my role um, as an ambassador at the Knights, which I enjoy, it gives me some variety and still gives me my footy fix on the side. Yeah, well, I mean, when he first come on board, we'd, we'd go out and see different clients and then you get workers wanting to take photos with him and all that sort of thing. He's pretty good at, at when he talks to our workforce to instill some of those characteristics around reliability and attitude and, and that sort of thing. And it it's works, works really well for us. All the way up to sort of Singleton, Scone, Musselbrook areas, mining is just such a big part of the community. It brings in a lot of jobs and a lot of money into our economy, I guess. So, it represents so many of us, I guess you could say. Newcastle's a blue-collar town. My, uh, my pop Gaz worked in the mines and we've got family that still work in the mines. It just lets the club show their appreciation of them. KP, your family's been connected to the mining industry pretty closely. Tell us about your dad Andre's career. From ever since I was young, he's been in the mines, always sort of working large shifts and, and home for not very long. So most of the time it was just me and mum and he did what he had to do to sort of give me opportunities. And um, now that I'm older, I appreciate the hard work that he put in uh, when I was young. For, for me, being tied up in the industry, it's nice to see a, a, a big sporting entity be prepared to, to put their name to the mining industry and run out in the high vis. To have such a high profile team that's sort of supporting us and us supporting them, in high vis, it's great to see. You know, a lot of them may have started in the mine and have worn a shirt in a different circumstance, and I'm sure those players are proud to continue wearing the high vis on a, on a, on a big stage. I've had a few friends, you know, when they finished playing footy and been a little bit lost, I guess, at times. It, it, it's been the mining industry that, that's put their hand out to help them and, and give them some direction in life, and, you know, they've been so grateful for it. It's, it's given them a big boost and given them a career. A lot of people on the ground like to talk about football. We've all got our teams, we're all fairly passionate. 
And yeah, I think Newcastle Knights fans are the most passionate of all. I've supported them for, for a long time and to feel that they, uh, they're giving back to us, it feels like it's a great synergy, this teamwork. It makes me proud, to be honest. Yeah, the final moments of pulling my high-vis jersey on, explaining to the boys we were representing more than just the Newcastle Knights supporters at this stage. We were representing everyone who wears their high-vis to work every day. Walking out through the tunnel and a guard of honour of high-vis, and I think they would have loved to have traded positions with us just to take one carry or make one tackle on the day. Ready to go, the perfect autumn's afternoon in Mudgee, 20 degrees for kickoff. I think everyone played well, but Carolyn was, was massive, start of the game. Look out, Brandy Arponga puts the foot down, puts it down a second time. Pierce up to the line, Ponga sets a hole, he's off again, Dufty stopped him, and he crawls over the line to score. Pierce, and then for man, oh, he's cut straight through them, massive hole. I think as a spectator, the, my favourite one would have to be the game at Tamworth. Rugby league in Tamworth at NRL level for the first time. Obviously I missed it, I was out. I think I had a shoulder injury at the time. Out the back, Pong, a clever pass, must be for CO! Yes sir! The Newcastle Knights score first. Must be a thing this morning, Jersey scoring first. Down by two uh, minutes ago, and JB goes and puts a kick on absolute dime for Skidzy, and he gets up and finishes off. I remember just sitting in my lounge room, and I, <laughs> yeah, I was just going nuts. Eh? It was it was pretty cool to watch. You've played four games in the high vis now. How do you think your dad Andre feels when you run out in that, that jersey? Yeah, it probably would be a bit more sentimental to him just yeah. because you know he probably knows what you know high vis actually means, what yeah. it actually you know the values and stuff that when you put on that jersey or you put on that high vis, what yeah. it means to, to him. So my old fella's tough, and that's exactly what the jersey is. He's hardworking, he's dedicated, and when we put that jersey on, that's what we want to be. Every home game is something we look we look forward to doing. You know, playing for our own fans, but it means a little bit more to us on that day. I guess we have a lot more people here, probably from. Like I say, the upper hunter and that. It's unbelievable when you look up and you see the hill full of high vis and the stands and that. Yeah, when you see the smiles on the kids' faces and you know, knowing that they're all mining families, it makes you go that little bit harder. And I think that's what Newcastle want. They just want a team that plays tough when there's a draw and you know, it brings joy to them and you know, that means a lot to us.